Charmaine, and my guest today is an actress, empowerment editor, supermodel, producer, and activist. And she's here today to talk about her brand new role on Tyler Perry's hit television show, Love Thy Neighbor. Help me welcome Miss Kendra C. Johnson to the show. How you doing, Kendra? And welcome. <laughs> I want to meet that lady. The one you were just talking about? Because I'm talking about you. <laughs> she sounds amazing. And how she you is know. fantastic. And oh she God. is. And she is gorgeous. I mean, you have to meet her. She's beautiful and doing big things. And did I mention she's on a hit television show? <laughs> well, I want to talk about you, the hit television show. I mean, you guys have great ratings. I mean, it debuted. I know Owen is really happy and excited. And for those who may not know who you are, we want to talk about you and the role that you're playing on the new show, Love Thy Neighbor. Okay. So tell us about your character. Who do you play? And I want to know, how did you land that role with Mr. Tyler Perry? Okay, well, my character's name is Linda Love Harris, mm -hmm. and I play, um, I'm sure the audience is familiar with Hattie Mae, Patrice Lovely's character, mm -hmm. and she plays my mother, so I'm her daughter, and then um, my son is on the show, and Palmer Williams Jr. plays my uncle, Uncle Floyd, he was, my mother was married to his brother, and Andre Hall plays my son, Danny, and um, the story is just, I mean, the plot line is just, it revolves around just, you know, the ups and downs, highs and lows, uh, triumphs and tribulations, and just a normal middle-class family's life and uh, the, the happenings in our family-owned diner uh, as well. So I fall into the Love Thy Neighbor family. <laughs> and um, I actually landed the role. Landed the role. Did I land it? I just auditioned. Um <laughs> I did a film last year with Mr. Perry called Single Mom Club, and I always say I have a huge, small role, because I have a huge, small role. I never <laughs> heard it so, like that, um, a huge, small a, role. <laughs> yeah, it was an amazing experience. I had a great time, and during the rap party for the film, um, I actually, it's a crazy, uh, wonderfully crazy story about how I booked the film, but I was up in Connecticut and Massachusetts taking care of my grandmother and unable to make the audition for the film. And so I uh, submitted my audition on tape, and I was booked from the tape. So I had met the casting director in Atlanta, which is a casting director in Atlanta. So at the rap party, she and her assistant came and introduced themselves, and I met them finally in person. And uh, we had a wonderful conversation, and during the conversation, they mentioned the the two scripted series, of, um, sitcom, of course, of that neighbor, and the drama, and have and have not that uh, were the uh, birthing, essentially, of the collaboration between Mr. and Mr. Mr. Perry and Ms. Winfrey. And, um, you know, she was really just telling me about it, and I was like, oh, my gosh, that's great, you know. Good luck with that. I hope you guys <laughs> find what you're looking for. <laughs> you know, I mean, of course, inside I'm saying, pick me, pick me, pick me. So um, uh, that was a Friday. The following Monday, I got in, uh, my agent got a call, and they asked me to come and audition for both series. And, uh, you know, as, as, uh, as we now know, Love Thy Neighbor is the one that I booked, and it, it all happened so very fast. Uh, my audition was the Wednesday before Christmas last year, in December of last year. The Wednesday before Christmas was my audition, and by February 14th, which you all have known traditionally as Valentine's Day, and I now know for the rest of my life as Love Thy Neighbor's Day <laughs> was our first day on set. Um, it was our first day on set filming, uh, filming the show. So that's kind of, in a nutshell, how it all happened. That is yeah. really amazing, especially for you to turn in an audition by videotape, not even able to make it. They must have truly saw something in you without even seeing you in person. I know. Isn't that awesome? I mean, but, you know, I truly believe that it's all, um, it's all, you know, it's, it's, it's all uh, divinely put in place. Mm -hmm. It's all a part of God's plan for my life and my journey. And um, and so no matter the obstacles that might seem to be in the way, um, if it's what he has for me, it's, it's what, um, you know, it's what will be. And this particular situation is just, um, you know, shows and proves that that, that, that that at least rings true for me in my life. Now, what has your uh, relationship been like, been like for you to work with Tyler Perry? And not only work with Tyler Perry, but also to have an opportunity to work with Oprah Winfrey and be a part of her network. What has that been like for you? 
Well, I mean, so I think um, my son, Andre Hall, plays Danny, my son on the show, and I love him. I think he really was taken from me at birth because he is my child. But um, he, uh, he, I think he put it best. The day that we all officially met, or Mr. Perry surprised us with Ms. Winfrey um, on the, at the studio, it was the day before we began our filming, so it was February 13th, and after it was all over, we were all just filled with so much emotion, just overflowing with this gratefulness. Um, just, it, it, was, it was an amazing, amazing day. Wonderful feeling, and the wonderful part about it, too, is when you can share that experience with people who are definitely on the same accord with you, um, or with that. And we were sitting in his car and just, you know, talking and, you know, being free to cry and scream and everything and let out everything we were feeling <laughs> that we were look crazy doing inside. And we did. And um, uh, uh, Sam and Andrew played Jonathan and Darmir. They were there also. And we were just talking, and he said to me, or to us, he said, he was like, oh, my gosh. I need a new dream. And I was like, huh? He was like, I, I need a new dream. Wow. He was like, all so many, all of my dreams came true at one time. I got to find another one. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> and it, it, but that it, I, thought, I thought it was a beautiful way to just kind of sum it all up because that's how you feel. I mean, I've always dreamed about being on a series, being a regular cast person on a series. I've dreamed about working with Mr. Perry. I've dreamed about just meeting Miss <laughs> Winfrey, you know, let alone being a part of her network and, and, and a part of this, you know, historical collaboration. Mm -hmm. But all of those things happening in concert together at once um, in one amazing blessing is just, I mean, it, 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 it's surreal, it's overwhelming, all of those great descriptive phrases that mean, wow, <laughs> you know, is, is, is what it is. So, Were you in the cast expecting the show to be um, the hit that it became when it first aired? Were you expecting that or were you expecting to have gradual success? Well, here's, here's, here's what I have to speak for Kendra on this one because my, um, I can be a little neur neurotic and spastic sometimes, and um, as everybody now knows, and uh, <laughs> oh my cat, oh my cat, but um, when, for me, because the way Mr. Perry works and films and everything is so different than what traditional Hollywood practices are, as it pertains to how quickly we film, um, more more so than anything else, it's, it's, the, it's the pace. And because of that, we hadn't seen anything. So I'm accustomed to at least kind of knowing what it's going to look like or to even really having some idea of, 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 of you know, of, of what we're doing. And we shot an entire season, 26 episodes, mm -hmm. and I had no idea what it looked like. And so just because I'm not one of those actors who can't stand watching themselves, I love to watch myself. I do every opportunity I get. Mm. Um, and and because I because I learn too by watching me, right. and I know you know I, I can I can put myself back in that space where I was you know in in my mind and my emotions and my fear everything I can put myself right back there, and now I can see how that translated across camera if it, if it came across in the manner in which I thought it would or or, or, or if I if I really feel what I know I was if I'm getting from me what I know I was feeling then. All of those things, you know, for me, I learned from that. Hmm. I hadn't seen any of that, so I didn't know. And I was truly just going off of trusting what Mr. Perry told me, what the producers told me, um, and, and, and just trusting that it was as great as they said it was. And I remember after the, after the, fir the first, uh, our first premiere week, Mr. Perry called, and, um, and I said, oh, my gosh. I cannot believe I didn't just trust you. I said, I've wasted all this time worrying and pulling my hair out <laughs> and gaining 75 pounds. And uh, <laughs> I was like, for nothing. Now I've got to get in the gym and I'm going to get this off of me. <laughs> because, because I was crazy enough to not really, you know, because I, what, what I, I had to really kind of call myself on the carpet because I said, you know, if I'm, it, it, it's, a, it's a testament to my faith. You know, if I believe that this is what God has for me, this is when he has it for me, I'm, I'm where I'm supposed to be and, and, and working in his divine plan for my life, 
if I believe all of that, trusting mm-hmm. Mr. Perry through the process is all is all a part of that. And, and and if I'm not trusting him through the process, then in essence I'm not, you know, I, I'm I'm contradicting what I say I truly believe. Mm. Um, so you know, so that so that that was you know that was my tender come to Jesus moment um, <laughs> that I had with myself, and I was like I was like I'm so sorry, Mr. Barry, I suck for not trusting you. Um, but uh, you know, but anyway, it, I'm so thrilled. I'm so happy, and and literally like this, the the response that I've gotten from folks and how I watched my character uh, Linda grow from the pilot episode even to the last one we saw last week and the two ones we'll see tonight. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> you know, um, I, I see every, I see what he told me I would see mm. and, 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 and it is just an awesome, awesome, awesome feeling. It really is. And you all have great <laughs> chemistry. You all have, and it really comes across you and, and Patrice and Palmer. You really see the chemistry when you three get together in, in the restaurant. I love watching you three together because the chemistry is so there. I think he, he, he knows how to pick a cast and to make it so believable to where it truly comes across. And not only are you on Love Thy Neighbor, but you do some great things. You're also an empowerment editor for a plus uh, size model magazine. Tell us about My that in the magazine. Uh, well, Plus Model Magazine is the premier publication for our, our, our digital publication. It's an online magazine, and um, celebra- it just celebrates the... Uh, the plus fashion industry, modeling, um, entertainment, just the, the, the whole room. And we, um, back in 2009, I did that, that I began my relationship with, with the magazine then, uh, with editor in chief, Madeline Figueroa Jones. And I did an editorial spread. I did some modeling, I did an editorial spread. And, um, and I had an interview about some of my acting work that I'd done prior to then. And, our relationship just kind of, um, it was established then and, and, and just and continued to grow because what they do, what they believe in, what they're working for was so in concert or in line with, you know, the kinds of things that I um, believe in and, 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 and work, you know, and working for and towards and all of that. And so ultimately, based on um, a lot of the work that I've done with young people and, um, and just speaking, I, I, I do in my um, in my life off camera, um, we decided. You know, we had a sat down a conversation and decided that um, being the empowerment editor would be a great, uh, would be a great contribution or a great way I could contribute to the publication. Um, so every month, uh, I I uh, uh, share with the with our uh, reading audience just some some kind of um, uh, empowering idea, concept, or um, or you know, and sometimes try to just link it into a, maybe a personal story of something that uh, you know that I've experienced, and um and just you know and just try to help to just uplift and, and inspire and empower um, folks in that way, and um and you know and it's and it's, it's gone very well. I think it's been a great addition to the publication, and they're happy. Uh, I took a couple. I took a brief hiatus while we were filming, just because I was so engulfed in, um, you know, in our work on set. And Mr. Perry works so fast, you literally have to leave your life and, um, <laughs> and, um, and, and, and be totally committed to these scripts and this work. And so um, we did that, but it, it, but it worked wonderfully because, they, you know, they did an, um, an article on the show and, um, and um, they have been very supportive. They, um, you know, love, love the character and the representation um, of the plus size community through Linda mm-hmm. on Love Thy Neighbor. Mm-hmm. Um, that you know, that's something that we're very um, that we're very excited about. And I know um, I, I have to say that that's one of the things that touched me the most about Mr. Perry choosing me for the role of Linda or to portray uh, Linda because there was nothing in the breakdown about Linda being a plus size woman. Um, there wasn't anything about her size at all. And quite often in this industry, when, you know, when, when I'm called in to audition for something, um, somewhere in the breakdown, your, or the character description, you'll see something about, 
mm-hmm. um, size or body shape or, you know, or, 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 or whatever. And none of that was there. And, um, and ultimately, you know, as an actor, that, I mean, that's, you, you want to be considered and, and, and appreciated and chosen and recognized as an actor, not just, you know, um, not just as a plus side, not, not just because the character or, or, or um, the character description is calling for someone plus size, but because you perhaps you know, are the best actor, um, you know, for the, for the job. So. And with, without it being um, actually in the script, you know you were chosen just because you were good and not because you fit a description we need a plus size, so she fits that description. We need a black woman who's plus size and look like this. It's just because you were good and they liked you and you were a great fit. Right, right. I mean, and in and, 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 and essence, I mean, I, I guess I did fit the description, but like you said, the description just did not include anything specifically um, about body size. And speaking of you having to memorize all these lines, you said Mr. Perry works really fast. How long yes, or, no or <laughs> how much time do you have to memorize your lines for each show? How much time does he give you? It just, it depends on when you get the script. We, there, there's no, there's no, um, I mean, as much as this was a huge undertaking for us, it was an even greater undertaking for him. He wrote and directed every episode of Love Thy Neighbor, 26, and every episode of The Have and Have Not, that 16. And we were and we were doing them at the same time. Wow. So, right. We didn't, it wasn't, you know, Have and Have Not, they were at, then we start. We were filming at the same time. So there's not going to, you know, with, with that kind of, um, with that kind of schedule demand, or those kinds of schedule demands, you're not going to necessarily have a specific set day that you always get your script. Mm-hmm. We did not. So you could go from may- maybe you'd have a week to learn four episodes. Maybe you'd have three days to learn four episodes. Um, uh, I remember one weekend we got, you know, I, I got new script on Saturday. Um, I had to go and my daughter was in Charlotte, North Carolina. She was in the debutante cotillion. Had to go to Charlotte for a debutante rehearsal and be back by Monday, and I had, and in between getting those scripts delivered Saturday morning and getting back to Atlanta by Monday morning for work, I had four scripts to learn, and um, I did, <laughs> but um, I mean, you know, so that, you know, it, it, it literally, the extremes would be maybe, you know, maybe we have a whole week, and it doesn't even, if you think about four scripts being about, you know, 30, 35 pages, 30, 30, 30 to 35 pages each, um, and having a week to learn those, that really still isn't a long time. Um, but that, that, that would probably be the longest we had, um, through, you know, throughout the, throughout the process uh, to learn them. So, yeah. And, and now that you are on a hit television show, what advice would you give to those who desire to become actors, actresses? They've been pounding the pavement, they've been struggling, and they're ready to give up. What advice would you give them, or what would you say to encourage them to keep going? Well, I first I first say um, that I think it, it, it's very important for them to know that their their love, their passion, their zeal is for the work and not for the fame, the recognition, the stardom, all that, um, because there's, you know, there's certainly a difference. And if you're going for the latter, um, it, 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 it might not, it might just not pan out for you. Mm-hmm. But, um, but if, you know, but if it's, but if it's the work that you love, if it's, you know, telling stories, if it's, you know, portraying different characters and, and that kind of thing, and, and just, you know, the art, if that's what, if that's what you're going for, and that's in anything, you know, if that's what your, if your passion is for the work, um, then, um, you know, then, you know, then press on. And, and also, it's, it's so difficult sometimes when we are not seeing, not necessarily seeing immediate gratification, um, or, you know, the fruits of our labor, uh, blossoming right away, 
but just, you know, just to know that wherever you are, you are exactly where you're supposed to be. Um, you know, God is never going to allow you to endure more than he knows you can handle. Mm-hmm. And wherever he has you, you're there because it's where you're, it's because it is where you're supposed to be. And get the lesson. Like, if, 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 if right now it's not working for you for some reason, even if you absolutely cannot figure it out, trust that there's something in even that that God has for you to learn and to grasp and, and, and likely something he is keeping you from as much as, you know, so, so often, you know, so often we're like, Oh my gosh. I mean, this happened to me on, I mean, I could tell you story after story of occasions when I've auditioned for things and I've been, and I've been like, Oh my gosh, they wrote this for me. Like this is, you know, Kendra all day. Like this, I absolutely should be the character should portray this role. And I didn't get it. And, um, what I had to realize was as much as I, as much as I felt like in my humanness that this was perfectly designed for me, it was not clearly what God had perfectly designed for me. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, and I, again, had, you know, and it, and it, it, it continuously brings you back to just trusting, trusting that what is for you is for you. And when it's for you, God will bring it to you. You just focus on the preparation, making sure that once it comes, you're prepared and open to receive it. That was beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing that. I appreciate that. Thank you. No problem. So, Kendra, if people want to follow you, are you on Twitter? I am on everything. <laughs> I'm on Twitter. I am on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and I'm Kendra C. Johnson every time. Because you're, you're also going to be tweeting live tonight. So if people wanted to talk to you on Twitter, they can just go to Kendra C. Johnson, tweet live about Love Thy Neighbor when it comes on. And we want to remind everybody to tune in tonight, Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Pacific Standard Time on OWN if you want to catch Love Thy Neighbor. And the cast will be tweeting. So we encourage everyone tonight to tweet live, tell your friends, Facebook them, and tell them to tune in to OWN tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern and Pacific. Kendra, I want to say thank you so much for coming on the show you are such a great guest thank you so much for having me (laughs) you are so welcome i look forward to having you back and again congratulations to you and the entire cast on the success of a fantastic show and to mr perry i gotta take my hat off to him he is creating great work he is like the busiest man in hollywood don't know how he do it but we know it's by the grace of god (laughs) nothing but the grace of god (laughs) 